Oh man, it's been so long since we've seen some new gameplay. This is crazy, man. This game, I don't know what people were talking about, but all the critics were right. The hype is real. Everything that we wanted this game to have with the bugs being minimal, with the gameplay being fluid, with just the fun factor of this game has all been certified. The hype is real, fam. And today, I'm just here to show you some new gameplay that hasn't been seen in I don't know how long. Every video that I see and every video actually that I would upload is just rehashed content or rehashed gameplay from the showcase that they had about two months ago. I mean, we can only post what you know. They did have that crazy leak, which was like footage shot from a cell phone by that guy who stole all those copies, but nobody cares about that. You can't really legitimize gameplay like that in judge the game based on that there was a lot of leaked footage i personally haven't seen it but i heard all about it okay as you look at this gameplay you can see that first of all you don't even need to worry about the 30 fps that it said it had that doesn't matter at all the game looks stunning and feels stunning the combat is fluid and yes as i said in this video about the bugs being minimal that has all but been confirmed the most polished but that's the game so far i already knew it was going to happen i'm not surprised so all that's left to do is enjoy the game I told you that this is definitely a new era of RPGs beginning with this game. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Be Righteous from Identity. And if you enjoy builds, guys, gameplay, and insightful discussions, then my channel is perfect for you. So don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Now, let me just start telling you about what's happening here and how the gameplay feels and so we could enjoy this together. One thing that I was concerned about and wanted to know how it felt was the boost pack. It's really satisfying. It's very fast and fluid. You'll feel like the Mandalorian of Starfield, able to boost at will to gain better vantage points while fighting. Melee is responsive as well. You'll definitely be using it because there are many enemies that will rush you right away. You can block and counter in ways that I won't really share right now, but melee, as I said, is very involved. And as for weapons go, in general, there is so much variety because you can use gadgets and things that aren't necessarily for combat against enemies. Like this gadget, I did not expect this. It's called the cutter that's used for mining materials. And I thought that's all it was used for, but you can use this in combat. So this begs the question as to what else you can use in this way. You can't forget about grenade and other explosives that just feel natural when tossing them. The crazy thing is that everything that has to do with anything in Starfield interconnects and can be synergistic in the way of play styles ranging from social all the way to combat. This is really overwhelming and exciting. And I know I sound excited. My voice is just crazy right now and I just kind of jumped into it. But this is how I feel, man. I've been waiting for some new gameplay forever and I know you have. And here we go. Now the open world is next to none, like how they always are in Bethesda games if you played the previous ones. But they come with more things. It's not just aesthetically pleasing where you see the sun go down and the sun come up. This has a system wherein if you're in the environment, then you can be subjected to afflictions and environmental ailments if you're exposed to the environment too long, even if you have a full set of armor. And they have like an oxygen meter, which is pretty much stamina which you have to preserve and look out for. And remember, there's always skills you can add on to help with everything that you're going through with the environment and stuff. I don't want, like I said, I don't want to say too much, right? Now, we still have to wait to know more about the main campaign because that must be kept a secret until tomorrow. The devs, of course, they want everybody to experience that on their own. But as far as side quests go, they still have that same feel as they did in Fallout 4 and Skyrim. They take you on adventures which can steer you completely in another direction for hours on end. This I love because there's so much you can find along the way in terms of loot, which we all love. And I really like how you constantly have random encounters with enemies when exploring different areas as you traverse the planets. Ship customization is as advertised. There's always been so much information about that. I'm sure you can understand all that you can do in terms of ship customization. They've explained that in great detail. But the actual space combat takes a little getting used to, but after getting the hang of how it feels to turn and navigate the ship, you'll like it, I think. And the same way enemies randomly attack you planet side is the same way they do in space with their ships. I've been waiting for this for so long, and I know so many of you have too. The first new game played in over two months and it does not disappoint. We will be hands on with this tomorrow and everyone who has early access can experience it fully. I can't wait. Let me know what you think of this gameplay and if this made you even more hyped than you already are.
to dive into Starfield. Maybe this can convince those people reluctant to play Starfield to actually pick it up. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for some dedicated Starfield content in the future months to come. I'll catch you in the next one. Be right out.